Hello Taurus, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. Supportive Oracle Cards. The, Sh the Acacia Tarot by Sandra, nope, Sharon Ann Klingler and Sandra M. Taylor. Uh, I know it's listed as a tarot deck, but I use it as a Oracle deck. I still like it though, so just in case you're wondering. There you go. Taurus. Okay, got a double card. You know, Aqu that Aquarius. What was the? Um, what was? Who was it? And you got it again, and again. Capricorn. Okay. Over here. okay. Starting into this situation. <clears throat> The star with the five of swords. Very peculiar start. <laughs> um, you're going into a new situation. It's it's one of those things where you're hopeful, but at the same time you're like, should I even be doing this? <laughs> it's one of those things. Kind of like... <clears throat> I almost feel like I'm at the track and I'm betting on a horse, and I'm just like, is this really... I almost feel like it's kind of like that. Like, it'd be nice if I won, but how likely is this that I'm really going to win? Um, I don't know if I like this. Only in the sense of, like, the star card is kind of like, I'm trying to be optimistic, and it could go well, but the five of swords is like, yeah, but how often does that happen? <laughs> it's kind of like your feet are on the ground with reality, but you're still kind of hopeful. Somebody's telling you, hey... This is why I think this is going to work out. We should do this. And you're like, all right, we can do that. I don't think you really believe in it, but you're trying to. I, don't, I think that's what it is. The star card is a powerful card. And it's kind of like you want whatever this is for this person. You're like, yeah, I'd love for this to work out. But, and on the outward side, you're like, yeah, I'm all about it. But on the inside, you're like, I don't think this is going to really make a difference, but it's not going to hurt me. I feel like that's how you're looking at it. Like, we'll get enough out of it to say it was worth it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like having dinner and it's just like, you know, you just cook up some chicken, have some rice. There's nothing fancy with it. It works. It's, it serves its purpose. It's not grand. It's not great, but it suits its purpose. It's not bad. It's not repulsive. It suits its purpose. But it's kind of like, all right, I mean, why not? I mean, no harm, no foul. Got to eat anyway. I guess. Why not? It's kind of like that. It's kind of like, it's, I'm not, it's like you wouldn't really go out of your way to have just like cooking chick, chicken cooked with nothing and then just plain rice. Like you wouldn't go out of your way for that. But again, it's not like it's, if somebody else wants it, you can do it. It's, I need to eat. It's going to work. It'll it'll check the box. It'll check the box. It's fine. But at the same time, you're like, I don't see why that's so exciting. Um, you've got the in initiation and the intricacies here. There's more words on there, but... Um, you're trying to help this move forward, and you're trying to see if you can make this better than what it was. It's kind of like, all right, they want to do chicken... Plain chicken with plain white rice. Are there possibilities here? Are there spices we could allow? Are, can I do a cream sauce? Would anybody be upset if I actually did the cream sauce myself? So if we have some cream sauce with the chicken and the rice, we can maybe make something out of this a little bit more tasty. Maybe we could put it over toast or something. Maybe we could do that. That's an idea. Maybe I can make this a little better. You've got the, uh, well, I'm getting the Seven of Scrolls, industry, intricacies, initiation, and the Count of St. Germain. I don't really know who that person is. I'll just be flat out honest with you. I'm more pulling on the energy from the card. You're trying to improve the situation is what I'm getting. And you're trying to put some effort in to make it better. All right, they just want to do chicken, plain chicken with plain rice. But if I add these two elements, cream sauce and some toast, and we just kind of... That might be that might be a little more delicious. That might be actually a, a good dinner, a very tasty dinner. I might be able to pull that together and make this something really enjoyable. Without too much effort, I can make that worth this. Um, you come in, this is your double card. The sun card, you add some stuff into this. 
you make the situation really beautiful. The sun card is like everybody's enjoying it, and you do too. But the, you got the four of cups back here, even though it, it's hidden, even though it's good, you're like, yeah, but I made it good. And if I don't make it good, it's not good. Like, it's okay. It's kind of like we, it's either just check the box, like basically made it happen, or I do the extra work and it's actually something good and worth doing. It's actually something very delicious and fun or, you know, enjoyable. So it's kind of like, <laughs> this is going to literally be dependent on me to pull this together. And it's one of those situations where it's almost like, it's almost like you're a worker bee in this situation, but you're, you're actually pulling off the role of like one of the generals. I don't know how the, I don't know how the bee archive works, but it's like, it's like you're a worker, but you're actually doing the job of somebody who should be above you because you want it to work out right. And you're kind of like, I'm doing, I'm the one making this work out, but other people are kind of getting credit for it. Is that what's going on here? Because I don't think I like, because I'm getting the five of roses and I keep seeing these children and I almost feel like you're the one that's make, putting the joy in it. And that's the thing. That's the thing with kids too. Like sometimes, you know, when kids are involved, they literally create the joy. Without them, the joy isn't there. And it's kind of like you're, that's how you're looked at. It's kind of like, well, you're one of those. So that's what you do. And you can add these things and we'll do it. But we're the adults. So we decide how it's actually going to go. And we're going to make all the big decisions. And it's kind of how that feels. And you're like, this isn't appropriate for this. I shouldn't be doing that type of work and be treated like this when obviously I'm more qualified to be over there. That's how that's literally hitting. I don't know. Let's keep going. Because <laughs> I'm just like, that's a little interesting. The Four of Wands here is like, I feel like people are starting to think, well, the Taurus pulls things together. Taurus is a very valuable person. I think we can go very far with the Taurus. They like how you pulled together this last situation. Hey, that was just going to be like baked chicken with nothing on it and plain white rice. But the Taurus had to put a cream sauce in there and brought some toast and we made that into a very, that was very delicious. That was really good. That toast was great too. I don't know what they did to that, but it was nice and, sp nice and thick with a spongy center. It was great. So I feel like they're just like really talking about you. But it's again, you're kind of like, well... I'm doing extra work that I should be up in this level. If I'm going to be, if I, I shouldn't be treated like this if I'm doing this level work. That's, that's not fair. I shouldn't be treated like I'm down here when I'm doing this level work. Kind of like pace. I feel like this is a lot of work thing. It feels like a work thing. Flipped over this. This is a face down card. It is, ooh, ooh, the ascent. They're not saying anything to you in the beginning, but they're recognizing it. Give it some time. Give it some time because I feel like they're realizing that. Like, you keep proving that you're you're an upper level person. You're like, if you're going to be leading the way, if you're going to be pulling things together, if you're going to make make it worthwhile for everybody, you clearly should be one of the people making the decisions to start with. You shouldn't be one of the people just kind of you know afterwards just try to make it work out after it's all said and done. You should be a person making the original decisions. The ascent. It's face down in the environment saying that you're not seeing it. They're not letting you know, but they're starting to realize if we want to keep the, the Taurus, like they're more of a leader. They're more of a leader and we can't expect to just keep doing this with them and expecting them to go along with it. That something's going to crack sooner or later. Something's going to break sooner or later. It's not going to work. Um, and it might take them a while to really see that because you are very dedicated, but after a while, if you decide this is not serving me, this isn't working for me, You'll start heading a different direction slowly, but you'll start being like, well, if this isn't going to serve me, we can't do this. Loving elements and then the spring fall. I like spring fall. Um, spring fall, I feel like, is better than winter summer in this deck because with winter summer, it feels like hot and cold a lot of times. With this one, it's kind of like the temperature is very much similar. It's just where you're heading. And I feel like you're. this is saying you're used to this. This, you seem to end up in these situations a lot. You're used to how this goes. The question is, is it going to go from this spot and get better? Or is it going to go from this spot and get worse? Like, if it goes from this spot and gets better, you're being honored and move forward and put in a position you should be in, making better decisions, making bigger decisions. If it goes from this spot goes worse, it's kind of like people are just expecting you to do all these things, 
even though you're not really getting compensated for it, and you just kind of be, you start getting taken for granted, which is, that happens to Taurus sometimes, you know. I feel like you guys know that. You're like, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel like that's like, oh, yeah, I know. Um, um, uh, a decision has to be made. I think this is one of those things you might have to come forward and you might have to say, you know what? I make decisions, but I, like I, I could do this better if I was in that position. If I was in a position to make the bigger decisions, I could make a better outcome here. You might have to go forward and say that because I'm getting the alchemist, which is kind of like the um, magician. I feel like you're going to have to toot your own horn and you're going to have to tell people what you want. You're going to have to literally decide what you want. The thing is, I don't see you having a hard time deciding what you want. I see you looking at the overall picture and going, do I really want to lead this wagon? Like, <laughs> do I really want to do this? Um, this is a point where I feel like for you to be happy in this situation, it's either choose to lead that wagon and go forward with that, or maybe choose a, start looking at a different situation. Because I don't feel like you being just a supportive player really is going to be satisfying long term. It's either lead this wagon, because I feel like it's going to move you towards that, or change what you're doing. Because I, I, I feel like if you stay in this static spot where you're just kind of like the supportive player, the supportive player, over time that's going to drive you crazy. Because it's just kind of like you're going to see decisions that could have been made better, things that could go differently, things that could be a lot more profitable, prosperous, and you're going to be not, not, you're not going to be in a position to make that happen. And you're just going to be very frustrated. Like people who are handing this down to you didn't make the best decisions. And now you just got to do your best with it. And it's going to be kind of like, oh, this could have gone so much better. This could have been, we got cheated out of a really good income, a really good outcome because of that. This could have gone so much better with this. Um, you're going to constantly see that. So it's kind of like either move into the position to lead the way or move into a different position altogether is what they're saying. You got the Queen of Cups with the wishes fulfilled. People will, the longer they get to know you, the more they believe in you. I don't think, uh, I don't think that's odd for Taurus. The more somebody gets to know you, the more they understand and see what you do, the more they believe in you. They're all about it. They're going to go whatever way you want them to go, and I feel like you need to be in that position. It's just kind of like you're kind of like, I don't know, do I want to leave this wagon? All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.